One of the, there's a study that was done by McKinsey in 2019, mm. Women in the Workplace, um, and it's talking about gender parity. Mm. And actually the theme for this year is um, each for equal, mm. um, which means uh, we're working towards gender parity. Mm. But then when you actually look at gender parity in the grand scheme of things, a lot of women struggle. The, the glass ceiling doesn't only start from the top. Mm. The glass ceiling starts way, way down. Mm. Hey everybody, my name is Angie Morenga. You're watching Just Angie. And today we start a segment that we're talking about Family Talk, which is our signature event, which is held around International Women's Day. And this year it will be held on the 14th of March, uh, 2020 at the Nairobi Serena Hotel. And I'm here with Wango, who is part of the panel of women, um, who are, or the team of women, the core yeah. team of women that are helping to put this um, event together. So maybe I'll start with asking who you, who you are, so they get to know, get a feel of who you are, yeah. Wango. So my name is Wango. Yeah. Um, I'd like to call myself a brave individual you are. Um, who's really passionate about Africa. Yeah. Um, why I got involved with Jacob's Well was because I'm very focused right now. One of my things right now in this year, or towards last year, end of last year and this year, was fostering community around me and being mm. intentional about fostering community around me. Mm. So one thing that I really love about Jacob's Well is mm. It makes sense why Jacob's Well is Jacob's Well mm -hmm. when you actually look at the context from like a macro view and a micro view. Mm -hmm. So a macro view, like, you know, a well is what feeds people, yeah. yes? But we are not being fed from anything or anything regular. We're being fed through Christ, right? Yeah. And when we now come and bring it back now to the home as women, um, in the micro view, women are actually, I feel, especially with me, well, what I'm going through with like my life and my marriage, I determine the energy of my home. Mm -hmm. So I am the well of my home. So I really love the, the concept of Jacob's well, mm -hmm. and I really love the theme for this year as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy to be a part of the team. That's amazing. Yeah. I really love that. And I love that, that you're the one who brings the energy and sets the pace. And yeah. little women love coming together, but maybe you can tell us the theme for this year's uh, Jacob's Well Family Talk event. Yes. So the theme for this year is uh, women leading teams. Um, the main idea of this event um, came from um, a McKinsey, like when we're actually thinking about like strategizing around the, the theme for um, women leading teams. One of the, there's a study that was done by McKinsey in 2019, mm. Women in the Workplace, um, and it's talking about gender parity. Mm. And actually the theme for this year is um, each for equal, mm. um, which means uh, we're working towards gender parity. Mm. But then when you actually look at gender parity in the grand scheme of things, a lot of women struggle. The, ge the glass ceiling doesn't only start from the top. Mm. The glass ceiling starts way, way down. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it even starts before manager level. And there are a lot of things that, as much as women are growing in Africa and we're growing and we're getting top mm. positions, mm. there's still a large number of us that have not gotten to that place. Mm. And there's still a large number of women who are still caught on the broken rung, mm. that, um, which is way back, way down there on the ladder. Um, before even becoming manager, what are the issues that we're facing that are getting us or, or letting us not rise to leadership? And mm. we need to be at leadership positions mm. so that we can actually use our voices take up space um, to take Africa to where it needs to be that is so true yeah and I think I read a report also that was talking about um, assessing the number of women who actually come into the marketplace yeah but at some point they exit the marketplace yes. and I think that's the place where it becomes too hard or it's never that serious, or I didn't sign up for this, mm -hmm. and me, I'm off it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them leave, or even having children. Yeah. So when they have children, a lot of them also leave, and then it takes a, they take a, a gap, and then it's hard to come back and reintegrate, yeah. and all that, um, all that drama that takes place. Um, but I think for me, the encouraging thing about women leading teams, which is our theme of this year, is that you allow the other women to have a conversation about women who have with women who have done it yeah with women who have who have passed this broken rung 
um, and, and, and made it and they, they continue to do so. Mm. I think one of the most interesting women for me, although all of them are interesting, is uh, Juanita because yeah. she's um, the first woman CEO, CEO. of Unilever, mm. in Af the first African, I think, woman. CEO of, of Unilever Af in yeah. Uganda. Yeah. And that's a very big role. That's and you big. Know, it's very big. Yeah. And she has children. She has young children. Her children are not like for myself like grown. Mm. So her kid her children she has young children. I think she has four of them. She's she's doing ministry work. She's doing that. She's being a CEO. She's being a mother. Yeah. She's being a wife. You know, she's got all these things that are happening to her and then she leads her teams very effectively. I'm not gonna steal her thunder because she's got some serious stories but every time she tells me about her teams I'm like wow mm. and that's what we want to know how do the women get to lead these teams and how are they a success so yeah. I'm very excited about even the women that are coming and who are going to address the situation because it's real life and that's what I love about women women love to talk and so we come we talk we share we have fun we dress up um, and we have a really good time yeah and I, and I, and I think women get encouraged every time we have a a Jacob's Well event, um, there's so much feedback about just how encouraging that was, you know. Like last year, we had uh, Maylin Dooley mm -hmm. um, from South Africa, and she's a woman in steel. I loved it. And it's a very male dominated world. And yeah. then she's also African. Mm -hmm. So that was very amazing and a very interesting story. And then we had Carol Anaina as well, who really shared from her heart, and I love the authenticity. So I'm really looking forward to the conversations that are going to take place around women leading teams. Because I think that's an expectation as a leader for you to be leading other people. Yeah. It's not always about you. I'm always encouraged by leaders who, let's say they're given a compliment um, about an achievement they've made, they always refer it to the team. Yeah. And then I know that's a leader. Because they'll say this was not my effort alone, it was a team effort. And um, yeah, so that's interesting around there. What are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the vulnerability. Okay. Um, I know Caroline last year was very vulnerable. Very vulnerable. And I remember, correct me on this, mm -hmm. but SK Blue has said it before. Yes. Where when it was the master-student relationship of olden times, mm -hmm. where if the student wanted to trust the master, mm -hmm. the master would take the student into his inner Stupa. room mm -hmm. and op um, remove his shirt mm -hmm. to show the student his scars. Mm -hmm. But if he wanted the student to believe him, he had to tell the student about how he got his scars. Yes, and how he turned his scars into victories. Exactly. I'm looking forward to that. Yes. Yeah. And I'm telling you, like for Karawanaina, that was just awesome. And yeah. another thing that uh, an SK Blueism, he likes to say, authentic is the new, smart. Mm. So I think that's very, very important that we're going to look forward to authentic conversations. Conversation. Yeah. So it's not just the, the, the good, but I guess they'll share their struggles. They'll share what what were the things that were threatening them, what opportunities they took, what risks they took. So we're really looking forward to see you at Jacob's Well Family Talk um, at the Serena Hotel on the 14th of March of this year. There'll be lots of promotions and even or, and there'll be an e-fly even shared with this video. So there'll be a lot of contacts, a lot of points. How can we pay? Um, the event is a whole day event and we're looking forward to seeing you there and I'm going to continue amazing conversations with Wango next week. God bless you.